Mark Jordana talks about living on the Avon Fishing Pier and surfing in Avon in the 1970s. Did you ever work on the pier? Oh yeah, I worked on the pier. I graduated high school in 1975 and came down and worked on the pier that fall, 1975, and then off and on for the better part of the rest of the 70s. Um, there was a little the original owners had put a, a little room on the pier house for the pier operator to live in. It was 12 feet by 12 feet and it had a sink and that was it. And, and that was my home for, you know, probably a thousand days in the late 70s. And I would, you know, we, we built a, a campground out in the parking lot and there was a campground house that had showers so I could go down there and shower and um, I ate an awful lot of the Stewart sandwiches that they made in the very, very early microwaves. I'm not sure those things were particularly healthy, but I ate an awful lot of them. And I lived there on the pier, and I worked there, and I learned to surf, and surfed right out there in Avon. So you basically learned to surf in Avon. Well, I learned to surf in Virginia Beach. We lived in Maryland at the time we bought it, but... We moved to Virginia Beach in 1973 and I finished high school there and initially surfed in Virginia Beach but as soon as I graduated high school I moved to Hatteras and, and really um, got much more skilled as a surfer once I moved to the Outer Banks. And did you surf right there in Avon at the pier? Yeah, actually at that time in the late 70s one of the best breaks on the island was the south side of the pier and the pier house where I lived was in the southwest corner of the pier house and I had to move my head about six inches in the morning to check the waves. I used to joke that I was the only person on the island that lived east of the dune line. Now that there's been erosion and people built cottages that are sitting out on the beach with no dunes then that's not true anymore but at the time, in the late 70s, I was probably the only person living east of the dune line. And what was there out there on the beach, like south of the pier at that time? Well, there was nothing. I could look from the pier, and on a clear day, I could see the lighthouse, and there was absolutely no structures south of the pier until, you, until the motels at the very entrance to Buxton. There was nothing in Kinnikeet Shores. That was all just open dunes. There was like, in fact, during the late 70s, the first cottage was built out there. Because I re remember that the guys that built that house um, had come down from New York and they would come up on the pier and get food and cokes and stuff because they were building the house themselves. And that was the original structure being built in that whole stretch.